Hello everybody. This is going to be a beginning video of a series of videos I will be creating on how to set up an Excel report starting from importing data into a workbook, automating it so that it's a macro so that it automatically imports the data every time you open up the workbook. And then once that's set up, I'm going to show you how you can create pivot tables with the data, create charts, and pretty much creating an, an overall func functioning Microsoft Excel report for end users. So again, that's going to be over the, this is just a beginning video for, for this series. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I have three sheets in the bottom. This is a brand new workbook. The only thing that I've placed in here is a legend, which is going to be just a, a small legend for my reference on the information I'll be working with in this Excel report. And what I'm going to be doing is using a, a tab del delimited file that's back here on my desktop for this video. In this video, I'm going to show how we can import that data into your workbook using a macro. That way, every time that you want to update the report, it's going to automatically update when you run the macro. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to update the, update the file so that it updates every time the Excel file is loaded. Now I'm not going to use the traditional method, traditional method of going to data and then doing from text. Reason behind that is because every time that you run a macro to update a report using this method, it always prompts you for a file name. So to bypass that, I'm going to use this method, the, the one that I'm going to show you right now. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go to my developers tab and record a, make, uh, record a macro. We'll just call this one import data. I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open that document that I have on my desktop. It's a text file, so you can, from the drop down, go on and select Text Files. And the one I'm going to be, the one I'll be working with is this one. So it's delimited. I'm going to go and hit Next. Now, depending on what your options are, this one is tab delimited. If yours was comma delimited, I mean select comma or whichever character you'll need. In this case, so mine's going to be a tab, it's, and you'll have the preview down here. Hit next. Finish. And then that's already set up. The, this, the, this is the file that we're opening. So what we're going to do is copy it. And the way you want to copy is by selecting the columns. Right click it. Copy. Go back to your workbook. Paste special and do values only and then select OK and then you remember your macro is still recording toggle to your other workbook close that out and then save changes well to, to delete from clipboard just go on and click no and then I usually select column A A1 and then stop recording so I'm going to show you a couple of issues that you're going to run into with this macro already First off, I'm going to clear this out. If I run the macro, import data, run, you get the screen that comes up. And then also, you see all, all of the updating on the screen. I'm going to show you how we can get rid of that pop-up. And I'm also going to show you how we can kind of freeze the screen so that the user doesn't see it update. So go to your macros and go on and hit edit on import data. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is clear out this screen. And we're using Sheet 2. I'm just going to say Sheet2.range. And this is where you're, you'll need to modify the range, but mine's going to be from A1 all the way to M. And I'm just going to do it to row 999999 on pretty much 1 million. Clear contents. This is just to clear it out. This is where the file is going to be opened. It's going to be selecting the columns A through M, copying it, and then it's going to go back to our book, and then it's going to go ahead to, we're going to go to pasting it, and then closing it out. Now, after we paste it though, what I would do, this is going to get rid of that pop-up for the, for the clipboard issue. Application.cut copy mode equals false. Now, right now, I'm using, the name of my workbook is book one. 
we will need to change this once we change the name of the active workbook. But let's try let's test this code out right now. Macro import data. We're going to run it. And there you have it. So right now we at least got rid of that screen where we get the 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 clipboard issue. Macros edit. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is freeze the screen temporarily while we update the screen. So application that screen updating equals false. We want to do this in the very beginning of the code and you'll notice it's also going to speed up the process. And we're going to go to the very bottom application that screen updating equals true. So then now if we run this code import data run we don't even really we don't really see anything on the screen. If I was to delete it, I'll just run it again. It just sh kind of shows up. You see a little bit of a screen change on the bottom, but that's just the Microsoft Workbook opening up. But for the most part, the user will not see the file opening and then you putting the data in. One last thing, just to be on the safe side, you can want to do sheet to dot select. That way, you know that the, that that sheet is active. And once we fully automate it you're probably going to have this sheet not visible to your user and in a later video I'm going to show you how you can freeze the screen make that sheet visible so just for the sake of updating it and then hiding this hiding that sheet again and then unfreezing the screen so that the user can have a refresh report and never see the screen actually updating but that concludes this portion of this video hope to see you guys in the next video thank you for watching